Over the last decade or so, Indianapolis has become Midwest America's hottest foodie destination, and for good reason. The city is home to numerous local eateries, unique restaurants, pop-up dining, and delectable dessert spots. Even Condé Nast Traveler magazine has said that Indy is the most underrated food city in the United States. Whether you're in the market for an upscale experience, casual dining, or street fair, Indy has something that is bound to appeal to you, and we have the list of the most unique, coolest, and all-around fun spots you can find. Number one, Punch Bowl Social, located at 120 South Meridian Street. Do mimosas go with bowling shoes? Well, they do, at least at the Punch Bowl Social. Right in the middle of the city, close to Lucas Oil Stadium and the Indy 500, Punch Bowl Social offers made from scratch food, cocktails, and craft beer. You can go bowling, play shuffleboard, show off your ski ball skills and karaoke with friends all while feasting on things like bacon wrap shrimp and cocoa dusted carnitas all right number two bluebird located at 653 virginia avenue now this award-winning restaurant only asks its patrons one question and that's do you have an appetite for adventure <laughs> Located in a renovated 1924 warehouse, this trendy city establishment believes that good food and, of course, great times help build a community. Located in the historic Holy Rosary neighborhood, Bluebeard is proud to join the area list of local characters. Now, because they specialize in farm-to-table food, the menu and ingredients often change which makes this a continuously evolving and exciting atmosphere. So if you're up for exotic and eclectic international flavors, well, this is a definite stop for you. Number three, The Eagle, located at 310 Massachusetts Avenue. Who says you can't find good Southern comfort food north of the Mason-Dixon line? Well, bless your heart, but the folks at The Eagle beg to differ. This is the place to go if you have a hankering for huge piles of fried chicken, served family style on platters, and modern takes on classic favorites like mac and cheese, along with local craft beers and classic cocktails. While you eat, relax to the sound of Southern blues and let all your troubles fade away. Number four. Greek Islands Restaurant located at 906 South Meridian Street. For more than 30 years, the Sturgopoulos family has been bringing authentic Greek cuisine to Indianapolis. And we think the Greek Islands Restaurant is simply amazing. On select nights, they have professional belly dancers as entertainment, and someone from the Sturgopoulos family is always around to make guests feel like family. But the real distinction here is the food. If you don't try their flaming saganaki, it's a cheese appetizer, while well, you're really missing your chance for a foodie experience like no other. Number five, Geraldine's Supper Club Lounge, located at 1101 English Avenue. When you combine a steakhouse with jazz, what's not to love? Reminiscent of the clubs of the 1940s through 1960s, Geraldine's Supper Club and Lounge is one of those places you definitely need reservations for. But we think that the Blue Crab Cakes are worth the trouble, if you can even call that. While you eat, you can take in the vibes and tunes from pianists, sax players, and more for a truly elegant and enjoyable time. Number six, Strange Bird, located at 128 South Audubon Road. Strange Bird builds itself as a mere neighborhood oyster bar, but Indy insiders know that this is one of the city's current hotspots when it comes to cuisine and, of course, rum drinks. If you visit, go for the oysters, but don't forget to try their fried shiitakes with black vinegar, honey dressing, or their coconut crusted tenderloin. Mm. 
And of course, check out their extensive selection of rum creations, all featuring fanciful names like Painkiller and Missionary's Downfall. We think you'll definitely be back for more. Number seven, St. Elmo Steakhouse, located at 127 South Illinois Street. Now, this landmark restaurant has been around since 1902, and including its world-famous shrimp cocktail, is an indie institution. Forbes even named it one of the 10 great classic restaurants well worth visiting. And locals know that it's one of those special places to go when you want to make an impression. St. Elmo's is the place to go if you want to immerse yourself in a historical venue, lose yourself in the nostalgia of its wood panels, dim lighting, and exquisite art, all while dining on traditional steakhouse fare and fine wine pairing. Number eight, the Garage Food Hall at Bottle Works, located at 906 Carrollton Avenue. Now, this one is located inside a 30,000 square foot market hall in the historic Botling District. The garage surrounds you with a unique atmosphere that combines art deco designs with industrial architecture and tons of fabulous food and the atmosphere is nothing short of amazing. Now, this is not a single restaurant but a host of them. It's a place where premier chefs and food artisans come to experiment, refine their craft, and push the limits of cuisine. You can visit places like La Chinita Poblana for a unique Mexican-Asian fusion, or Jay's Lobster and Fish Market for the lobster bisque and hush puppies of your dreams all while being adjacent to shopping, live music, trivia contests, and more. So there you have it, folks. But Indy's culinary culture is actually still growing by leaps and bounds, and new restaurants and kitchens are opening all the time. So grab a fork and dig in. Until next time, thank you for watching.